Climate summit taking place next week or next month is important that a progress is made there to tackle climate change. And an international challenge <coughs> such as this can only be tackled with international cooperation and collaboration. <coughs> we need governments, business, <coughs> the public, and <coughs> may I return <coughs> at the end and hear my voice. Sorry. <coughs> So okay. we need governments, business, public, private sector to be involved if we are to deliver on our targets of 1.5 degrees. <clears throat> it's very important that COP27 is taking place in Sharm el-Sheikh in Egypt, a country and a continent that is experiencing the severe impacts of climate change. Countries such as Somalia and Ethiopia have severe drought at the moment that has led to crop failure shortage of food and, of course, hunger. And the UN has predicted that more than 300,000 people in Somalia will be in famine by December of this year. So now is the time for action. I know that we will have a strong message delivered by countries such as Somalia and Ethiopia and many more nations experiencing the realities and the crisis that is climate change. Our Fit for 55 package outlining how Europe will move to our 2020 targets is important and important message to bring but we need more and we need leadership from Europe. We also need decisions, strong decisions taken from all players. <clears throat> Thanks very much. Ms Shelders, for one minute, please.